So on many of my videos, I get some of the most ridiculous comments from random people on the internet that seem to disagree with me. Like obviously it's one thing for somebody to disagree and then have productive comments to make and uh, you know, rationally and logically attempting to pick apart the arguments that I make in my video. But when I have people that cuss at me and, and talk about um, spirituality and good or bad or give me a pair like paragraphs like an entire essay about their entire life story that isn't even relevant to the topic in the video it's like I have no clue what to respond to these people and you know in the back of my head you know part of me is I don't want to waste my time you know replying to comments that aren't really going to produce a beneficial result in the first place. Because sometimes, you know, because uh, I really want to um, converse and talk about each other's points, and I enjoy a healthy debate. But I notice, um, you know, in my, what, like six years of doing YouTube, I recognize that, you know, these debates can take up a lot of time you know sitting there and replying back to comments back and forth I mean it can still anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour out of your day I mean it depends on how deep you want to go with it um, and I know a lot of people might think that sounds ridiculous but it's actually not and I actually wonder like just why so many people spend so much time arguing back and forth through YouTube comments or Facebook comments even um, because especially in regards to you know science or discussing the logic behind somebody's fallacies fallacies um, it can take you know quite some time to formulate a coherent and well articulated response you know I get especially, you know, vegan people or, you know, just people that disagree with some of my nutritional and, and health advice who, you know, they generally say the same thing over, over, over and over again all the time. It's always the same comments. And I obviously have plenty of responses to make to those comments. But the bottom line here is we both disagree with each other's ideologies. And generally what I've noticed is, for one, neither of us are probably going to convince each other of anything. And when it comes to my nutritional habits and my nutritional beliefs and my beliefs around what causes disease and what heals it, the fact of the matter is everything I talk about is from my own personal experience. I tried a vegan diet for an entire year. I tried everything. I really wanted it to work. I did everything Michael Greger and everyone else told me to do. Vegan support groups and everything. It ruined my health. Then I did a paleo diet and it reversed all my health problems. Then I did a keto diet for three months and all of a sudden I feel like a god. I, I feel like I'm a, a 14 year old again. I feel great, unlimited energy, amazing sleep. And so why would I waste my time arguing with a vegan if what I'm doing has, is working amazingly for me and what they're doing completely ruined my health. Especially if when I tell them this, that, oh, you, what you are telling me, I tried that and it ruined my health. What I'm doing made my health amazing. They resort to personal attacks and don't have anything worthwhile to tell me that's going to help me. So, you know, not even asking me questions about like, did I try this? Did I try that? It's, it's just like your belief versus mine. I don't like that. I have no interest in um, participating in this tribalism. I don't care about being a mascot for keto or being a mascot for paleo. Uh, and I don't care if that's what you want to do with being. I don't care about that. What I care about is, you know, what happened, what happened to me, what happens to most people, 
how does it happen? Like what causes these things? What causes diseases? What causes, you know, these conditions? And then how can we improve it? What did I do that worked for me? And what did thousands of other people do that worked for them? That's what I care about, you know? I care about discussing what works. So sitting uh, at my phone or my computer and like battling back and forth about things that, that don't matter, that aren't gonna produce a benefit or any value to either of us, it's pointless. I don't know how to respond to these people. Um, I don't wanna waste my time engaging in these things. But I do want to engage in these things, that's the thing. I want to debate with these people. I want to understand where they're coming from. And much of the time I notice, it the, the, the vast majority of comments I get are from mentally unstable people, people with strong emotional problems, I've noticed. And you know, obviously, they're anonymous. They don't even have a profile picture, usually, or videos, and if they do, is generally like there's this vegan carbo loader guy on YouTube and he's clearly schizophrenic and he reminds me of Durian Ryder but even worse. Um, you know, vid people that have videos that have clear signs of mental illness. And, you know, occasionally you get some people who just have some funky beliefs and, you know, funky approaches to communicating with other people. But the point is you know, you never know who you're talking to on YouTube, you know, and I, you know, people just get triggered and angry and offended over really dumb things. Like I have a video on how to solve erectile dysfunction and I got people cussing at me because I told them to stop watching porn. Like, why are you angry at me for talking about the negative side effects of porn use? You're angry, you're cussing at me, angry at me. And I'm just some random guy on YouTube, and you're a random person, like, you know, to me that says, like, you know, they're offended because I'm telling the truth about their addiction. I mean, if you disagree, that's fine. Like, you just say, oh, I, you know, what you said about pornography, there's no scientific evidence. But then, of course, I have plenty of references in the description, and I'll send you some, and then they just don't reply back. <laughs> You know, but getting angry at me and, you know, leaving cuss words in the comments section. Like, how old are you? And did you ever go to school? Like, does your brain work? Why are you getting angry over something stupid? And then some guy got mad at me on my Vince Garanda video where I just, I am attempting to discuss the cause of death for Vince Garanda. And I basically say that, you know, his excessive supplementation of calcium supplements most likely cause calcification of the arteries and they stiffen the heart and cause heart failure. That's a scientific, that's common knowledge in, in medical community. And some guy tells me he like a, a whole life story about how he trained with the great bodybuilders of his time and how I'm full of crap and cussing at me and asking me what my medical degree is and how if I don't have a medical degree, then what I'm saying isn't scientific. And I send him a scientific reference and I just, I tell him I don't care about your whole life story and what did I, he said I'm disrespecting Vince Garanda. I'm like, what am I saying that's disrespecting the man? I'm just discussing, you know, the possible causes behind his death. I said nothing bad about the guy and he got offended because I was talking about calcium supplementation causing, you know, stiffening of the arteries is common knowledge. Calcium and magnesium, relaxation and, you know, um, excitation. So it's like getting angry at me for discussing some logical, rational things. It's, it's childish. It's like, why are you getting angry cussing at me and going on and on and on about what you did in life? I don't care. You know, you can, if you're not gonna debunk my points in the video in a civil fashion, why would I spend 15, 30 minutes of my day, of my lifetime, I'm not gonna get back um, going back and forth with somebody who just seems mentally ill. So, guys, let me know in the comments section how you would deal with this. That's a hard thing about being on YouTube and sharing information for free. You always have crazy people who, you know, get crazy at you. 